Okay, this is it, and I'm going to show you how to use the advanced, <coughs> the advanced launcher to emulate games. Yeah, including how to scrape for the fan art. Yeah. <coughs> so first thing you need to do is get yourself an emulator. In this case, I'm using a Nami. Yeah, called Nam64. Yeah. So first thing I want you to do is download some games yeah I've got some games already in the other setup let's just copy a few over the ones right I'm just gonna pick a few yeah I'm just gonna copy them and I'm just going to paste them into my ROMs folder yep, paste yep no fan art or nothing just the ROM zips yep what I'm going to do now is create three folders one called thumb One called fan art. And one called NFO. <coughs> you don't have to do the NFO, but I do. Yeah. Once they're done, go back into your Cody. After that, do your little system settings, add ons, <coughs> enable third party, no unknown sources. I come out of this, I go to service settings, control, allow remote control for my applications and other systems, enable that. And you can always do. All the stuff as well here. Yeah, well, go to my add ons, enable them to. You don't need to do this for the, the advanced launcher. Yeah. All done, all done. So now you need to install the advanced launcher. Yeah. To add ons, the open box icon, install from zip, and install the advanced launcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to make downloads and plugin program advanced launcher master. Wait till that enables, installed. Yeah, it's installed. Once you're back on the home screen, bring up context menu on the advanced launcher, click on settings, go down to <coughs> uh, in the data and infos, keep on the case of scan, see what says, collect the method, scrapers, semi automatic, automatic. If you want to pick and choose what images, Stick on semi automatic. Yep. On this, I put it on arcade. It. Yep. Next, go to thumbs. Same again. Click the method. Scrapers. Stick on automatic. Change source to arcade. It. Fan arts. Same again. Scrapers. Automatic. Change the source to arcade. It's miscellaneous. Q 
keep everything as it is, just scroll down, see where it says launches default paths for thumbs, yep, find them folders that you created, yep, so user, user, desktop, NAM emulator, and the first one was for thumb, yep, so click OK, do the same for your fan art. Use a user, use a desktop. Nami emulator. It was in my ROMs. There's the fan art folder. And you can do the one for the enough file. Oh. Semi problems and there's the folder there. Yep. Once it's all done, I'll just double check everything's okay. So everything is automatic, you don't even have to touch a thing. Yep. So just click OK. Once that's done, see the cog. Click on it, go to File Manager, go to Add Source. Now we're here. Browse. Give it the destination of your of your emulator. So my one was called Nami Emulator. Once it's done, click OK. Yep. You can name it what you want. Just leave it as it is. Yep. The next, you want to add the ROMs folder. Oh. Browse C user user desktop Nami emulator and there's the ROMs folder with your three file f folders that you created. Yeah, plus it, oh, yeah, the games you won't see the games, but they're there. Yeah. So you should have Nami emulator. And you yeah, have your ROMs. Yeah. Once that's done, go to your add ons, click on the advanced launcher. Yeah. See so where it says default, bring up context menu on it, and click on create a new category. And this one, I'm putting games. Yeah. Click OK. It's telling you there it's created the new folder and there it is there. So on this one, bring up the context menu again, but this time click on add new launcher. And now we're emulating, right? So click on files launcher, e.g. game emulator. Yeah, and it, see here's your two folders that you added. Yeah, so all you need to do is click on the NAMI emulator and then click on the .x, yep, the NAMI 64.x or whatever uh, emulator you're using. Yeah. This this one was a select file path, this is for the ROMs. Yeah. So you just click on there and just click OK. Yep. And it's zip. If your games are zips, keep it as zips. And the ROMs, yeah, just click OK again. Name your emulator, NAM64 will do me. Yeah, now it says select the platform. Well, NAMI or arcade games, so I just click arcade. Yeah, now it's saying select the thumbnails path. Yeah, well, there it is, there. Yeah, click OK. It's saying select the fan art path. Well, there it is there. Click OK. Yep. Yeah. Now, when you click on it, it'll tell you here there's not any add items yet. So what you need to do is bring up context menu and see where it says add items. Click on it. Now look what happens. Yeah, it's saying scan new items or manual add item. You want to scan. 
now it's scanning them games they added yeah but plus it's also adding the fan art it's scraping the fan art the thumbs and the not files yep so, and it's doing it automatically so i don't have to touch nothing to the fan art you can see the they're adding it yeah and the thumbs yeah they've been added yeah so now when I click on the emulator yeah you'll see some inf some info's been added but there's no images yeah no images been added yeah and what you gotta do here <coughs> is just point to the folder you can do it on any but bring up context menu on your first one see where it says edit item click on that see where it says change thumb nail image click on that now select local image click on that now just punt it to your thumbnail folder. Now watch what happens. Yeah. Cancel. See? It's been updated. Yeah. So now you've got your thumb. Yeah. See how easy that was? No item. Fan art, local in, who's in the van, there's the fan art. Yeah, I've only punted, I'm not pressing on, I'm just going to click cancel now. See, it's got the backgrounds now as well. Yeah, and that's how you do it. Yeah, so if we come out come out uh, go on that let's change skin so it looks a bit better get more let's go to confluence you like to keep yeah come on come on Programs, click OK. There's my launcher. There's my games folder. There's the emulator, and there's my games. Yep. And if I click on one, just give it a moment to launch the emulator. And that worked. Yeah. I'm not sure if it picked it up on this screen recorder, but that worked then. Yeah. And that's it. That's how you get your games. That's how you scrape for your fan art. And that's how it's all good. This is Udon. Till next time. Ta -da.